Okay, so I showed you guys this um, little applique that I didn't feel like doing because it has all these parts that I have to cut out. And um, every Monday, my friend and I go to a senior center. And I'll just quick glance because I don't have permission here that if they want to be on film. But today we're having a potluck. And I have recruited my friend Lois to do the hard work for me. Say hi, Lois. <laughs> so she is doing this part. I'm cutting them out and picking the colors. And then um, we are placing it. There's those all have to be cut. They're, the freezer paper is ironed on. And then this I had already had done. It's not attached. but So this is what we're working on. And then I might get to my cross stitch, which is here. Um, but I might keep working on this wool applique and just do the cross stitch at home. But I do want to show you this gorgeous quilt that somebody brought in. Oh, they folded it up. Let me see. Can I show a little bit of this on my video? Uh -huh. Let's you see. want the quilt or the cutting or the what? The quilt, yeah. Uh, so uh, who made this quilt? I did. You made it all by yourself? No, Amy Stegerwald did the quilting. I did the okay. top. Okay. In the back. Amy Stegerwald over at Tennessee Quilts did the quilting. Tennessee Quilts is a quilt store in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Now, tell me the story of it. Do you mind being on video? I should ask uh -huh. first. No. Tell um, me the story. Last, sometime last year, my sister sent me a, she saw um, something on Facebook for a handprint quilt. She goes, could you make one of these? I said, yeah, sure, no big deal. Yeah. And I can't remember if it was before or after, but anyhow, her ex-husband was diagnosed with colon cancer. Um, three months later, he died. They had a memorial service in July. I was up there for it. And I said, well, I'll just bring all the stuff and we'll get handprints from everybody that shows up, which is what we did. Oh, so everybody that came to the memorial service, uh -huh. their handprint is on here. Yep. What an excellent story. And so I took them all home, um, put them together for the quilt. Um, picked the, I saw this fabric at Tennessee Quilts. I love, love it, but it kind of fits in with the theme for him. It is memorial service. They gave everybody um, packets of wildflower sheets. That's cool. So I thought this would be appropriate for the back of his quilt. Right. Um, yeah. And, and then this will be gifted to his wife. Yeah, I'll give it to my sister, and then after that, what they do with it is up to them. They get, they had five kids together. Okay. There's, there's only ever going to be this one quilt. So. <laughs> right. Okay. So they have to discuss and negotiate, but it started out when I laid out the the blocks. I started out with Tom's family at the top, and then it comes down to my sister and their kids, and then it comes down to my sister's family down here. And the very last row is um, family friends, friends of various people in the family that showed up at the service. That's very cool. Great to try, idea. Kind of to try and organize them somehow. Right. Well, thank you for sharing that. Oh, no problem. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a little bit of what everybody's working on here. I'm going to show them doing a video. Is that okay? Oh, sure. Okay, let's see what you're working on. And this is embroidery. Very nice. I have not done that yet. I have patterns, but I haven't done it yet. How's she doing? She's doing good. She's working. Occasionally gets a little confused, but she's doing good. My, I'm sorry to interrupt you. My new favorite thing. And okay. years old. Oh my God. Yeah. Really. And this lady she here. Now she definitely. Purpose. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Can you imagine how many hours are in that? So this is paper piecing, right? No, this is um, yes, English paper piecing. English yeah. paper piecing. Yeah. And is that going to be a quilt? Uh, heaven only knows, and I I don't know yet. Okay. And over here. This is super amazing. Look at these little teeny tiny little things that she hand stitches on here. Oh my gosh. Now, is this paper piecing also? Is this, this is like English paper piecing, yeah. Okay. But now I've taken the papers out of that. Okay. But these are as well. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This one is away from her chair. I'll show you. And over here, we're going to see what she's doing some applique. And show me the bottom part. There you go. 
Well, that's a different one than you were doing when I walked in. Yeah? You want to see yeah. the other one? I yeah, finished it. sure. <laughs> this would be good for our fall retreat. Squirrels and acorns theme. There we go. Very oh. pretty. Now, is that going to be a quilt? Or are they going to be sewn together? Yes. Okay. This is what the whole quilt should look like. Although I'm thinking of making two with four blocks each. I, I don't want a great big, huge quilt. Right, just like a lap quilt. Well, yeah. probably end up being smaller. Than like a wall quilt. hanging. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for showing me. Sure thing. And what are you working on over here? And I'm just doing some applique here. Teeny tiny stitches. Yeah. And this is what it'll look like. I'll show you what it's going to look like. Beth, your phone is ringing. <laughs> yep. This is what it'll look like in the end. Very it's a Robert pretty. Morris wow. design. Very pretty. We'll see. I'm doing the easy part right now. Yeah. That's what you're working on now. All right, guys. So um, I think that's it. And I will see you on the next video. We're going to eat all this yummy food. Let me show you what I made. I might have moved a little quick walking over here. Sorry about that. So I had this sort of camping thing. So you layer Twinkies down, and then you put strawberry glaze mixed with fresh strawberries on it, and then you spray the whipped topping on it. But somebody told me last night that they did it, and they sprinkled or drizzled chocolate over it. So that's what I did. So it doesn't look really appetizing, but oh my gosh, I bet it's going to be delicious. So I'm looking forward to that. See you on the next video. Don't forget that thumbs up.